Welcome back to another video. Before we start, we would like to thank you for all the support you've given us. Psych2Go's mission is to make psychology and mental health more accessible to everyone. Now back to the video. Do you know someone or have had experience with depression? It's a common mental health condition that affects a large portion of the population, so it's important to be aware of and recognize what depression is like. Misconceptions and inaccurate information have contributed to a lot of people misunderstanding what depression is and how it affects people. So, Psych2Go presents 12 things about depression you need to know. Before we begin, we would like to mention that this video is created for educational purposes only and is not intended to substitute a professional diagnosis. If you suspect you may have depression or any mental health condition, we highly advise you to seek help from a qualified mental health professional. Number 1. Nobody is immune to depression. Did you know that globally, more than 264 million people suffer from depression or that it's estimated that a 15% of adult population will experience depression at some point in their life? Depression can affect people of all ages, races, and socioeconomic statuses. Research even indicates that those in certain professions, such as in law and in medicine, are at a higher risk for depression. The rates of depression are also higher among those with a history of substance use. Number 2. Men are reported to have a lower rate of depression than women. Studies have reported that 8.7% of women and 5.3% of men have depression. This may be because men are less likely to report their depression due to the stigma and fear of being seen as weak. According to Brooklyn, New York-based therapist Justin Lioy, who specializes in men's counseling, depression in men is often masked by anger and irritability. Number 3. Untreated depression is the most common cause of suicide. According to the National Alliance on Mental Illness, 45% of those who commit suicide are suffering from some sort of mental illness, including depression. Therefore, proper diagnosis and treatment for depression is very important, as it may help prevent suicides. If you or a loved one is experiencing suicidal thoughts, call your local suicide prevention number or helpline. Number 4. Many who suffer from depression also have anxiety. Did you know that nearly 50% of all people diagnosed with major depression also suffer from an anxiety disorder? While not everyone with depression will also have anxiety, these two mental illnesses are closely linked. So, it's important to discuss your symptoms with a doctor to receive the correct diagnosis. Number 5. People with depression can't just snap out of it. The biggest misconception about being depressed is that you can just snap out of it, but depression is actually much more complex than that. More often than not, someone with depression or any mental illness has very little control over how they feel. Saying that they can just stop being depressed is insensitive and frustrating to those who are experiencing and struggling to cope with it. Number 6. Being depressed is not the same as being sad. While many people may use depression and sadness interchangeably, they mean two different things. Sadness is a common emotion and reaction to when you get upset, and it usually lifts after a few hours or days. However, depression is much more persistent, lasting for weeks, months, or even years, and it can negatively impact your daily functioning. Number 7. Depression is linked to changes in brain chemistry. Did you know that depression has been linked to an imbalance of neurotransmitters in your brain? This includes dopamine, which regulates emotion and memory, serotonin, the feel-good chemical that regulates mood and sense of well-being, and norepinephrine, which impacts your heart rate and blood pressure during fight-or-flight situations. The theory is that having too much or too little of these neurotransmitters can cause or contribute to depression. Number 8. There are different causes of depression. While the causes of depression aren't completely understood, it is likely that it's caused by a combination of factors. Genetics or environmental factors may play a part. Seasonal affective disorder, which is a depressive disorder caused by changing seasonal patterns, is triggered by disruptions of the circadian rhythm of the body. Changes in the production or function of hormones, including pregnancy, menopause, or thyroid issues, may contribute to depression. Grief, trauma, and chronic stress are also possible triggers of depression. Number 9. Depression is treatable. 
Some people may believe that depression isn't treatable and therefore refuse to ask for help. However, there are actually so many different and effective treatment options and therapeutic approaches available. Cognitive behavioral therapy, social skills therapy, supportive counseling, and behavioral activation are only some of the options to choose from. Number 10. Depression isn't a choice. It's important to know that no one chooses to be depressed. While being depressed or having any other mental illness is not a choice, how you decide to deal or cope with it is. Choosing to do nothing or deny you have a problem may only result in worsening your symptoms. Number 11. Chronic pain can be another symptom of depression. There are many factors that can cause someone to become depressed, one of which can be chronic pain or discomfort. Being in physical pain for a long period of time may lead to depressive thoughts and eventual depression. Number 12. Depression distorts your thinking. When you are depressed, it may feel like your mind is starting to play tricks on you. Negative thinking patterns may distort your view of your relationships with others, as well as your environment, and contribute to feelings of paranoia, anxiety, and even thoughts about self-harm. Therefore, it's crucial to seek help and support so your negative and distorted view of the world doesn't worsen your symptoms. Do you relate to any of the things mentioned in this video? If you do, know that you're not alone and help is available. If you enjoyed this video, please like and share it with others who may find it helpful too. Don't forget to subscribe to Psych2Go and hit the notification bell for more content. All the references used are added in the description box below. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in our next video.